Hello, welcome to another video from me, Mr. Morris. Today, we are going to create a Christmas theme game in Scratch. I'm calling this Catch the Presents. So the aim of the game is the snowman moves left and right to try and catch the presents. I'm using my arrow keys to move him. We catch the presents each time you catch the present, we get a score. And if you drop the present, it's game over. And the aim of the game would be to get as high a score as possible without dropping the present. So press the create button in Scratch and open a new project and let's get going. So first, let's make our sprites for today. So we are going to have three sprites. My first sprite I'm going to use, so I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to create a new sprite and it's going to be gift. So gift, just a present to fall. Now you could change the color of gift just in costumes if you wanted to change the color. Let's, I'm going to change the gold to maybe a different color of gold. Let's go for a more browny one. Okay, I can just do that by dropping the paint icon. I've chosen almost the same color there, so let's do this one. Yep, there we go. So change it like that by doing the paint icon. So I've changed my presence slightly. I'm then going to add another sprite and it's going to be snowman. There's my snowman. And my final sprite is going to be a line at the bottom of the screen to allow us to catch. So I don't need to choose, I need to paint a sprite and I need to paint a rectangle. I'm going to zoom out so I see the whole of the screen and I'm going to paint a rectangle that's covering most of the bottom of the screen there. Okay, we can maybe put it down a little bit. Yeah, about there. And then let's make it white so it's going to match snow and we don't want an outline. So use the red line to get rid of an outline. So that's my three characters. I could make them a little bit smaller in a second, but let's put a backdrop in. So I'm going to choose a backdrop and I'm going to find winter. So here's winter. And now this is looking a little bit more like a game. I'm going to move my snowman down and I'm going to make my snowman maybe 80% of his size. And that means he's small enough that there's space for me to lose. And let's make the present smaller as well. You can make the game harder by having smaller uh, characters. And we're going to put the present up there just now. So let's get on to the coding. So we need to click on the gift, make sure the gift's in purple for us to put in the code for the gift. So we're going to go into events and when green flag is clicked. So that's when we start something. I'm actually for a second going to add another backdrop as well. So let's choose a backdrop, choose another winter because I need to have a game over backdrop. So let's go into backdrops press backdrops up here and then I am going to call this game over like this and I'm going to make that pixel make it a bit bigger there we are and I'm going to rename my backdrop game over just so I know what this is going to be then I'm back to the code and make sure I press gift so now we've got when green flag is clicked, I'm going to switch to backdrop and I'm going to be backdrop winter is the first backdrop. Then I'm going to go to motion and go to random position because we're going to start in different positions. Otherwise, you would win all the time if you knew where it was going to land. Then we're going to set our Y to and we're going to set that Y to 180. So that means it starts up here every time. <laughs> then we're going to go into forever. So control and forever. And we're going to change Y by minus five. So let's go to change Y by and let's go in to minus five. Then we're going to have an if if something, 
And that something is going to be in our operators. And our operator, we're wanting the operator that's got the sign facing this way. Okay, so it's going to read, we're going to go into motion and find Y position. Okay. So Y position. And then we're going to go minus 170. So that's going to be near the bottom. Then we're going to find again our go to random position and then set Y to 180. So this means it resets every time the present gets to the bottom. We're going to have a second when green flag is clicked in here. And this is going to be about the score. So first of all, if I press, if I get rid of this for a second, if I press green flag, my present's currently falling and then it's appearing again in a different place. So my second green flag is going to be about the score. So we're going to have a variable and we're going to make a variable called score and it's four of sprites, click OK. So it appears in the top corner. Then we're going to set my variable to and we're going to change it to score. So set score to zero. Then forever, which is in here in events, Control, control, we're going to go forever, if, if, and then we're going to do a sensing. So if touching, we want it to be, if it's touching the snowman, it's going to do something. It's going to make a sound. So go into sound and start sound pop. And then we want to control variables and we're going to change my variable by one, okay, so let's go in here and we're going to change it, change score by one. And then finally, we're going to go into motion and do go random position and set Y to 180 again. So that means if it hits the snowman, it's going to reset as well, set Y to and then 180. So now it's going to fall and we need to have the snowman moving. So we need to go into snowman now and this time on snowman we're going to have a green flag. When green flag is clicked we're going to go into control, take out a forever and then we're going to put in an if then and we're going to go into sensing and go for key pressed. So if key pressed, we're going to change that key to right arrow. So now it's when green flag is clicked forever. If the right arrow is pressed, then we're going to go into motion and we're going to change X by and we're going to change X by 10. And I'm going to duplicate these three blocks. So right click, duplicate and put them below and I'm going to change this to left arrow and I'm going to do minus. So now we have, when I do the arrow keys, my snowman is moving left and right. Okay, so last thing we need is something to happen on our line. So our line is telling us when it clicks when green flag is clicked, that's the first thing. We're going to go into control and forever. If, and we'll go if sensing, touching, this time it is touching the gift. It will switch the backdrop. So we're going to go into look and switch back with up to game over and finally we're going to go into control and stop all. So that means everything stops when it's game over. So let's see if this is working. So, yep, I'm going left and right, catching the present, and let's, and it does game over. 
There we go. So you could make this more complicated, but it's a great simple game to create this Christmas. So go create it and play it. And I hope to see you in another video very soon.